So brachytherapy is a type of radiation treatment we have. We call it internal radiation treatment, and it's really the most targeted, most accurate, most conformal radiation treatment we have. We can see your prostate on the day of the procedure and deliver the radiation to the prostate without you moving because you're under general anesthetic. You really need to be there for the day. You might need some recovery time just from the general anesthetic the next day, but you'll find that you're able to get back to your normal activities quite quickly. The advantage of brachytherapy also is that there's very little in the way of short-term side effects impacting your bladder, your rectum, and your erectile function in the short term and in the long term by virtue of the way the brachytherapy is delivered. We do this procedure in patients that are intermediate and high risk, which is what you are. We want patients that have an adequate size prostate gland, not too big and not too small. And in addition, you need to have excellent urination, which you do. You'll be given a specific time to arrive at the cancer center on the day of your brachytherapy procedure. A nurse will meet you in the waiting room and take you to the recovery area when you arrive. You will have an IV put into your arm. You will be taken to the operating room when it's time for the procedure. You will then be given an anesthetic, which will put you to sleep, and you will stay asleep for the entire brachytherapy procedure. We'll put an ultrasound in your rectum and a catheter in your bladder, and the ultrasound is done so that I can visualize your prostate and get pictures of your prostate. Then I put in 16 to 18 needles into your prostate to cover your prostate adequately. And really that's only four to six more needles in your biopsy if you want to put it into perspective. A treatment plan is made using your ultrasound images. The goal of that plan is to give the highest dose we can to your prostate while minimizing the dose to areas around your prostate such as the bladder, the rectum and the urethra. Uh, during the treatment, the radioactive source travels from the brachytherapy treatment machine into the needles that are in your prostate one at a time. Once the treatment is complete and the dose is delivered, the radioactive source goes back into the brachytherapy treatment machine and at that time the needles are then removed and you're woken up. You will stay in the recovery room after the procedure. A nurse will take care of you during this time. You will be given medications to help with pain and nausea if you need them. You will need to empty your bladder and be steady on your feet before you can leave. You must have someone drive you home after the procedure and stay with you for 24 hours. There's no radioactive source left inside you. You can finish the procedure and go home and still interact with your family and your loved ones the same as you normally would. I was diagnosed with aggressive prostate cancer. So everything moved very quickly and I decided on HDR brachytherapy. Going into this, I had no symptoms of uh, prostate cancer. So I had no urinary issues in the night or anything at all. It was only a higher PSA score and then the biopsy that said, wow, you have aggressive prostate cancer and we have to act on it quickly. When I had the, met the radiation oncologist, they gave me a booklet. It was very thorough and it kind of, again, eased your concerns and your stress level and you kind of went, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen. And so it really did make it easy for me. I had the procedure. Three days later, I went to work. I felt great. The only, the only thing I would say I had was bruising. And you know, over the course of 10 days, that bruising basically disappeared. But I wasn't uncomfortable, it didn't hurt. I didn't suffer any fatigue from it. Um, basically, I went right on with my normal routine. It was a great experience.